Alright, so now we're going to create the holes, the slots for the leg studs, or the, well, the waist studs really, um, because there's sort of a waist section that allows the legs to pivot, um, the, the Lego legs to pivot, and also connects to the torso. So we're going to go to our orientations, and we're just going to go to bottom. I'm going to choose this face, this bottom face, left click on that, and then click left click on extrude. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is we're going to actually determine the, uh, the, the sort of the distance in which we want to um, put our circles in. So we're going to do a lot of construction lines here. So we actually want to do 14.1. Um, Two. Okay, so we'll create our little template. So we'll go to construction mode, left click on that, and then left click on line. And because one length is the exact same length as the side, which is 7.8, we'll left click on that. So that should be a 7.8 millimeter line. And then we can normal click out of that and then I'll click out of that again and just check the dimensions on that line yep 7.8 that's correct alright so what we're going to do is if this is 14.12 if the template we want is 14.12 by 7.8 on the inside of this rectangle so this length will be 14.12 and this side will be 7.8. Then we need to come in by, all together we need to come in by 1.38 millimetres. Not on either side, but all together. So on either side, we need to come in by 0 0.69 millimetres on either side. Alright, so... start doing that. So we're in construction mode, left click on that and then left click on the line tool. And we'll go in on this corner 0 0.69 millimeters in. So and then click out of that and determine the dimension of that line there. not quite what we want. And delete maybe a line. Maybe we can delete these lines. Alright, I might do it on the other side just so we can get that dimension really easily. So left click and then left click on here. It's still not popping up. I'll try it further down. All right, there we go. So it's actually come up on the top one now. So we'll click on that dimension there. There we go. And we're going to change that. Oh, it's nearly, nearly got the, the dimension straight out. And we'll change it to 0 0.69 millimeters. So we'll delete this line. And we'll also try and delete that line over there. Yeah, we'll delete those two lines. Alright, so now we'll create a line from there down. And this length will be, this, this length down here will be 14.12. So just drop it wherever and middle click. So left click to drop it and then middle click out. And now we're going to want to middle click again. Now we've got our dimension. We want to change that dimension to 14.12. As soon as it comes up, 14.12. Enter. And we're going to create another line from there to the top. 
and it's going to be a completely straight line. That is not straight currently. There we go. That is straight, that's a right angle. As you can see on the blue little circle, there's a T shape. That just means it's a perfectly right angle. So now we got our template. Yay! So next thing we're going to want to do is determine how far in we want our circles. So from what it looks like, we want to go 0.5 plus 2.4. So we want to go 2.9 millimetres in from the side, the middle of that line. 2.9 in from the middle of that line. And then we want to go 1.5 plus 2.9, uh, 2.4, 1.5 plus 2.4. 3.9 millimeters up to that mill line there. But that should be okay once we do this mill line. So let's start with this one. So what do we say? Uh, one, 0 0.5 plus 2.4, which will be 2.9 in. So using our construction line, we go to this, the center of this line, left click, and then left click again, and then middle click out. We'll click again. Now you got our dimension, and we're going to change that dimension to 2.9. There we go. Got it eventually. Enter. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Change that dimension to two point. Actually, you know what? Okay, control Z, and we should be able to just match that line. It should just turn green for us. So left click in the middle of that line, and as you can see, the line. If you get it just right, the line on the left side will turn green, and that just means that they're the exact same line. So left click out, and that will be the exact same dimensions. Now, if we drop a line from here to here. The distance there should be around uh, 1.5, oh, it should be around 3.9, 1.5 plus 2.4, yeah, it should be around 3.9, so let's click out of that and try and find, if we go up to this dimension tool up here, if we click left click on there and then middle click out exactly 3.9 that's great all right so click x out of that and now we want to create our circles from this endpoint so we're going to left we're going to left click on construction mode to get our construction mode and we're going to left click on center and point circle so using this the end of this line and this sort of uh, divergence point we're going to create our circle so just left click on the middle and then left click out and then middle click out of that. And as you can see the dimensions come up and we just want to change that dimension to 4.8 millimeters. Alright, so that's our first circle and the stud on the waist will go into that circle. And we're actually going to match this same circle on this side. So again, use the center and point circle and go to the end of this line left click and you can actually just wait for that other circle to go green and left click again like I said whenever something else goes green it means it's going to match that sort of dimension or it's hitting that line something along those lines so you can middle click out of that after you've left clicked out also alright so now we got our two studs and we're just going to click OK. And they've already extruded out, but we want to do, we want to extrude them in. So we'll change the direction of that extrusion up. 
and what we'll do is we won't extrude that far up, but we will extrude. We will extrude. How far do we want to go? We'll extrude to five millimeters up. Click enter and then left click on OK. All right, now that we have that, that actually isn't the way the Lego is designed currently. Um, just to save time, we've done it that way. It should have the, still the same effect, but um, it's just going to be a little bit too time consuming to do it the other way. Um, if you look at the bottom of a, um, a Lego body, you'll see why. Um, and it's already taken us probably an hour just to get this far. So, next thing we're going to want to do is create our waste section. So, going to our front geometry, our front dimension, sorry, not our front dimension, our front orientation. We're going to want, yeah, we're going to want to create our waste section. But first, give yourselves a little pat on the back. You've come this far, you've created the torso, you've created the head, and uh, we'll uh, now make a new video.